everybody, it's Boys of Mostos coming at you again, and today we have the Legacy Autobot Hot Rod. And you can see he's in the new Legacy packaging, um, and no, no plastic there. Mostly cardboard, a little bit of plastic here. Hasbro has said no more plastic clamshells. We're going for cardboard, but it's not 100%, I guess, biodegradable. Does again, you have plastic hook here and the little um, things that hold him in course this is the little version doesn't say much eight steps lots of warnings in different languages Autobot hot rod nice picture of him there on the top there on the side and there they show looks like blaster and Alita one and hot rod and um, I always forget the one from animated so Without further ado, let's crack open the packaging and see this new tiny legacy hot rod. So here's our Legion Legends, whatever we're calling them now, mini hot rod. Comes with a nice sword. You can stick it up here, which looks a little weird. Transformation on this one is really weird, actually. It's more of a shell former than anything else. Um, so you want to see the vehicle mode. You can see the head is, has got visible head syndrome VHS on the bottom. Top looks pretty good, but you can see the seams. It was hard to put everything back together. So what you want to do is kind of pull both sides out, which is really weird, and then work it a little bit and see how the car splits into many parts like that. It's really weird. Uh, so you then want to kind of split the back, which would be the legs, and you want to pull up um, the wings, which will go to the back of the hot rod as always kind of fold up all the top bits and come the back of the legs flip him around pull down his legs separate them and does it lock in like so and then you want to pull down the shoulders which are very tight so you got to be careful I felt a, a little nervous that they might pop And there you have Hot Rod. It's uh, different, that's for sure. Put the little sword in his hand. Not sure why he has a sword, but he does. And there's your Legend Legion little Hot Rod. You can see all the kibbles in the back. It's not bad though. Just concerns me how it feels. Uh, pretty good articulation. And uh, not bad. It's $14.99 or so in Canada. I got mine at Toys R Us. It had, that was the last one left. Along with uh, Thundercracker. Not Thundercracker, sorry, Skywarp. Which I'm not going to bother doing a show for you on that one. Or a view because it's the same as Starscream. Which I think I probably did a couple years ago. Or last year, whatever. Maybe I didn't. Anyway. It's a cool figure anyway. Uh, but it's just basically a repainted Starscream with a weapon. So... I did, I did, let me just bring it in against a dark background and it looks so good. But there he is, comes again in the Legacy new packaging which is mostly cardboard. So should you buy it? I, I like these little guys, I think, I think they've done some good job with engineering the recent ones, especially from the last few series. Um, so yeah, if you need like a desk former that's a lot cheaper than a Voyager, it's probably good for you. But, it's, uh, like I said, transformation is a little weird, um, but you saw it, it was more of a shell former than anything else, but still pretty cool. So, there he is, it is our new Legacy Little Hot Rod, till next time everyone, happy collecting, we'll talk to you soon, take care.